Dispatch Bruno Corvée? First and foremost, it's a fantastic project. Uh, essentially, it breaks down into three core activities, training, innovation and development. The story behind the EBC is that we wanted people to be able to uh, see uh, before arriving in the field what they were going to find. So we chose a place without water, without electricity, a little bit lost in the middle of nowhere to give them a sense of the kind of constraints they'd be facing and also the kind of projects that we'd like them to implement. And it's completely worn away on the inside and what's terrible is you cannot see that from the outside. So in terms of training, for example, we've had uh, about 150 training days in 2011. We're talking medical trainings, logistic trainings, Watson trainings, uh, and people come from all over the world here to the Espace Bruno Corbe in Brussels uh, to receive training. And so of the 35 different missions, uh, not just MSF Belgium, but also other MSF sections. And increasingly we're having other organisations, for example, Bioforce and Handicap International have both run trainings here in 2011. MSF, we're working in a lot of unpredictable situations, in war settings where we can be confronted with a lot of wounded people due to violence, uh, chaotic situations. So to prepare our staff, what we do in a training centre is simulation, make it as real as possible as we can. By using makeup and using real-time acting patients, we hope we will get as close to reality as possible. Shooting not, uh, not yet, huh? Hey, what's his name? Oh, there's still shooting, no, huh? Eh? Security, all security first. Go! It's safe? No. We hardly prepare them, we throw them in, and for the logistician and medical staff, they then have to do triage. You have to work together in a stressful situation to see who do we give care first, who can wait, who we send where. So it's learning by doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, really. So one of the main reasons why we're here in Brussels is that we're close to the MSF Belgium headquarters. And that means that there are over 80 technical experts available for trainings. We can get the students out there setting up, for example, a vaccination point or a cholera treatment centre or a viral hemorrhagic fever circuit, which is much more interesting than sitting behind a PowerPoint or reading a book. Getting out there, getting your hands on, getting stuck in. So the second core activity I'd say was innovation. We've run 17 different projects in 2011 here at the Espace Bruno Corby. To give you three examples, we've designed and built a glass crusher and it's essentially a machine for crushing with glass vials which are produced uh, by hospitals and clinics to reduce their volume. Another example is the field ambulance. And so we took a standard uh, Toyota Land Cruiser which has already done 235,000 kilometers in Congo. It's come here for its retirement. Uh, and we've, we've ripped out the back seats and completely re-equipped it as a, a field ambulance. Another example of an ongoing innovation project is the Modular Field Hospital. Originally developed by MSF France, it consists of several inflatable tents and it's fantastic to have it here because not only can we show it to people so they're familiar with the equipment before they have to use it in the field, we can run tests in it, uh, see how it fares in the Belgian weather, see what adjustments need to be made, contact the supplier, invite the supplier here. Uh, we can run uh, scenarios inside it to look at the patient flow okay, right, and generally improve the product in itself. All the surgeons and anesthetists who have come back from Goriel are quite happy with the operating theatre because they're amazed in the middle of nowhere. You have a complete operating theatre. They're able to maintain the sterility, uh, that good hygiene conditions and the waste management. So if you have a real emergency like the one that we had in Haiti, it works out very, very well. And finally, development. And for me, this is a, it's very exciting to be able to host uh, conferences. So this centre is not just for MSF, it's an open door to all kinds of humanitarian actors and organisations. We've had Handicap International, we've had Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. It's a platform for exchange. 
Anyone can come here and visit to get a feel for the work that MSF does in the field and anyone heading out as an aid worker can come here for hands-on training because it's as close as it gets to actually being in the field.